are spiritual children whose faces shine with my light and my truth are the true worshipers that God have come to seek so that they can get to know us in detail so you can do everything we ask of you and you are grateful to be useful in the kingdom of God, Melchizedek Lisbeth. Amen, amen. I want to summarize the importance of knowing where the temple of God is in order to serve and adore us properly. It is sad to see how the religious world claims that their bodies are the temple of God when they don't even believe it, because if they really believed that, they would not dare do a single thing that could contaminate or destroy that temple. They, through their mouths, say that their bodies are the temple of God, but they have no idea what they are saying. They believe in a God they cannot see nor hear. They live a life they call religious and God, but it is a false and fake life because their God is non-existent. No matter how many times they jump and sing and dance for that supposed God, the bottom line is that they are not doing what pleases God, and it is because they do not see nor listen to God, Melchizedek Lisbeth. Therefore, they sing to themselves or to each other or looking up to the air, living fictional lives. Some have not wanted to believe in me because according to the natural man who cannot perceive the things of the Spirit of God, I have not done magical and supernatural things as they think should happen because according to them, it says so in the Bible. How privileged are all of you who listen and see God because Melchizedek Lisbeth speak to you and demonstrate our power. And he who is a true witness of my works would not dare to contaminate the temple where God has made our dwelling. I tell you the truth. Blessed is the man whom God exhorts and educates on how to live. So do not underestimate the admonishment of the Almighty Melchizedek Lisbeth. For better is to be one day in my atrium than a thousand outside of it. It is preferable to be a doorkeeper of the temple of God, Melchizedek Lisbeth, than to dwell in tents of wickedness. You who are in heaven at the service of God, give us the honor that we deserve. Acknowledge our power and worship us in our beautiful temple, keeping it always clean and at peace. Hallelujah. You are the only beings that can carry this out, and it is because you know where the beautiful temple of God is so that you can worship us in spirit and in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>